Hey, everybody. Just thought this might be kind of fun to share. This is what I was doing for a few hours on um, Tuesday, which made me completely forget about COVID and completely forget about the election for a few hours. And it was like a giant jigsaw puzzle. So people, you all know I'm kind of obsessed with photographs. But yeah, okay, I am. I admit it. <laughs> I admit it. I'm obsessed, obsessed with photographs. So one of the things I've been doing over the last year is, or two or three years, is to scan every photograph my family has ever owned and try to improve the photo, get the dates and names and stuff on it. So I was going through my files late last night and I found this old photograph. See, it's tiny, teeny tiny, that my aunt Peggy had sent me. And she is the historian in the family. She's always amazing because she dates everything and she puts information on the back, like who's who, and she'll put little post-its and stuff. And this one says, uh, this is your great grandfather's brother and his family. And Tressie will remember most, most of these, at least the names, and Tressie's my mom. And she wrote in the back, who's who. So I scan this. Now there's no date because Peggy obviously didn't know. She put the row numbers and stuff. And this is something she did, oh, you know, early 2000s or something like that. So it's not, so it's, it's you know, there's technology now that we could do a little bit more with the picture. So I'm going to show you what I did because I thought it was a really fun. So I'm going to screen share over here to y'all so you can see. So first I looked and I saw that the picture had not been, um, it didn't, it didn't go. I don't think I scanned. I didn't, don't think I screen shared correctly. Oh, or did I? Yeah, I guess I did. Okay, so the first thing I did is that, um, let me move these controls out of the way. The first thing I think I did is um, I scanned in the picture and I scanned in the back of the picture, which has everybody's name so I could see it really big. And it was cut off. This whole front row, first row was cut off the name Robert Wilk. Neil Wilkinson was cut off. So I went and pulled out the old photograph and rescanned it so that I'd be able to, you know, have it for um, prosperity. So I went, um, I went through and what my goal was for the, for the night was to try to find all these people on my ancestry and figure out who they are and see if I could date the picture. So the photograph when it existed, um, as I showed you a few minutes ago, it had lots of scratches and things down here. It was purple or something blue or something up here looked like some ink had gotten on the picture. So what I did is I went in and I, and I rescanned it and I cleaned it up and made the image a little more visual. So I got rid of some of the distractions, some of the scratches. And, and there was a, there was a, I don't know, it looked like a piece of, uh, I don't know, a huge piece of lint across this guy's hat. So I took that all out and everything. So I cleaned up the image so it'd be better looking image and I recolorized it. You know, it's, it is what it is. You can do what you can with it. So when I was looking at the back of the picture, um, I found, I discovered that there is um, one person in the picture who's not named. In other words, there's more people in the picture than there were names on the back. So that was kind of confusing. And of and the way they're standing, you can see there's some people in front of some people in front of some people and stuff. So it was kind of really hard to tell the rows. My aunt had put row one, row two, row three, and row four, and then this little girl standing in the back. So in order to date the picture, what I did is I found the youngest person in the picture. That's this child right here. And my aunt had written down, and Peggy had written down, that is... Um, Alfreda Wilkerson. This one right here. No, this one's Alfreda. So this is ooh, ooh, ooh. somebody I know because I have them on my, I'm reading the really small print right now. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me go over to the, see, here's what she sent me. Here's your great grandparents. A very small picture. Your great grandparents family. So what I did is I went through and I, and I numbered them all on a different picture. So, you know, I still have my original picture, but I numbered them. And this guy right here wasn't numbered. I mean, he didn't have a name. Everybody else had a name because I went through and I went and, and I looked at the names and I looked at the dates 
I mean, the, the ages of these people approximately. And like I said, number 20 right here is um, a child. Versi Hightower. That's it. Versi. V-E-R-S-E-E. -E -E, Hightower. And I figured, you know, because I was a photographer for many years of children. And I figured this child was about five months old. And since I know what her birthday is, because she's in my ancestry tree, I had done that far. I figured that this photograph was taken in about March 1927. So that's how I dated it. And then as I went through and I and I put these people in my ancestry tree, I did double check as I went. Like each of these children, it said they were probably four. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that fits about 1927. So they would be about four in 1927. So I was able to date it that way. Um, what I also was able to do was find some family groups. So um, some of the things, some of these kids are blended and Peggy said they're all family. So that was confusing because some of the family members I couldn't figure out for the heck for no, no way at all. So what I did is I went over to my ancestry. I went over to ancestry and I started doing some research because We've got the Finleys, we've got Carpenters, we've got Hightowers, and we got Wilkerson's and Dob Dobbins. Those are all the different last names in this in this photograph. So I was able to figure out all the Finleys because that's my family name. Got that all figured out. And I figured out the Hightowers because I'd gone on a like a rabbit hole uh, a bunch of months ago and figured out a whole bunch of Hightowers. I figured out how they're Hightowers. And then I kind of got stuck. Um, Peggy had written down their women's maiden name, even though there were children in the picture. So that was helpful to be able to have that. And I was trying my hardest to figure out who the Wilkerson's and the um, Dobbins are. So I, their family of some sort, and the kids are blended in with the other kids. So you know, I looked at my ancestry, my family tree, and, you know, tried just looking for last names, couldn't find any Wilkerson's or Dobbins. And I thought, well, there's one man, there's a couple men in here who probably, who are, well, there's one man for sure. His name is Asa Cleo Carpenter, who's in this picture. I thought maybe his sisters married either Wilkerson's or Dobbins. So I went on a long search <clears throat> and looked at his, uh, did his, you know, he's not related to me, he's an in-law. So what I did is I went and I found out who his father and mother were, and I followed him on the census and I, you know, put him in ancestry documenting as I went along. And I said, okay, here he is on the 1900 census, here he is in the 1910, 1920. And then I went back, as, you know, back and forth as far as I could so I could find out what all his sister's names were. And then I went into a dive trying to figure out who they married. I didn't put it all into Ancestor completely. I just put like who I figured out they married to see if they had married a Wilkerson or a Dobbins and none of them had. <laughs> so it was really confusing for a very long time. I had, um, I went to bed about two in the morning, which was great because I was exhausted and I slept like a rock. And when I woke up in the morning, I had an epiphany. epiphany. I said, you know, you do have a book. Uh, this is the genealogy of descendants and allied families of Isaac Finley and Hilda Martin of Izzard County, Arkansas. This was created in 2005. And I have been using it quite a bit these days and making notes and little tabs and stuff all over it. So I went and I looked up. I can't find a Wilkerson in there at all. I looked. And there's somebody who's a Wilkerson who's a family member, but it's like it can't be the it can't be this family. So I have a feeling the Wilkerson's might end up turning out to be a neighbor family or something. But I'm going to um, I asked my aunt uh, late last night and I haven't heard back from Peggy, but I, I I'm beginning to think that maybe the Wilkerson's are a neighbor and I could probably figure that out from census. And I did find the Wilkerson's. Um, on the census, you know, because there's this, there's a tight knit community. Everybody's kind of together. 
I'm just keeping note of it. I, I'll probably run into them later. I did find them on the 1930 census and I could probably find them even further. The, I know who the Wilkerson's are, their mother, father, the children they had. In this photo, it's only the children, the parents aren't there. So that kind of, and one of the women is holding one of the Wilkerson children. So it makes me think that they must be like an in-law. So, and you know, the kids maybe might've been at the farm next door or something too. And they just came over and that's why they're in there. <laughs> There's a cat in my closet, you guys. It's not a joke. We have strange lives. So I went into the genealogy book today and I found my Dobbins. And I was so excited. Let me see if I can share it really quick. This cat is something else. Here we go. So let's move this over here. And meow, she says, so I found my Dobbins. It took me a while and I'm going to get them all put in here. But I found, um, this is a name that she had, Le Lehman. L-E-H-M-E-N, and I found his him also as Lee Man. Um, I, and it's on his tombstone, so I assume that's probably correct. But I went in, and I was able to go and do an awful lot of, of uh, I uploaded the photo to Ancestry, and I was able to take a lot of the pictures and, and get them, um, how do I say, where I was able to put pictures. Now they're blurry, they're little tiny pictures, but there's a bunch of people that I, I really didn't have much much information on before. And it really feels good to have them kind of have a, a photograph, even if it's small. Let's see, am I looking in the wrong place? I probably am. Let's go up here to tree search. Go to Shelby Finley. Died in 1972, born in 1890. And I found that a lot of his family is in this photograph. So I was able to go in and I put, here's his children. And I was able to put pictures of his children. See, it's not the greatest picture. It's a little blurry. But now I have it. And she's just a part of this big picture. So I do have her, I, I, you know, I have something visual now of who she is and I was able to go in and, and look at her, you know, go back and, and, and put all the other siblings in there. And it felt really great to be able to get all these people in order and to make some kind of, um, you know, some kind of sense. I also found out that I had um, a duplicate and I like using photographs a lot because photographs really help you visually see if you have a duplicate person or um, something of that sort. And I did, I found out that I had, I had a duplicate. And this young man who was in the photograph with the hat on in one picture turns out to be this guy and his wife that I had another picture. See, there they are. They just look great. I mean, I just love this woman. Her name is Sally. And look at her with her pearls. And she's got some jewelry on right here. And I, she just looks like such an interesting character. You know, I, somebody would want to know. So this is Shelby. This is my ancestor. He's my first cousin once removed, apparently. For, no, first cousin, second removed. So I had a lot of fun putting this together last night. And now I'm going to go in and um, update it with the uh, Dobbies that I found, Do Dobbins that I found. I don't, I'm not sure if I got them all put in here yet before I decided to do this video. Let's see, Dobbins. Yeah, here he is. So I'm about to put his picture because he's in the photograph. And um, I believe that his, his wife might also be in the photograph and his siblings are in the photograph. So I'm going to go in and update that. I'll probably put his father and mother in here. But I'm not going to go into really researching their father and mother because this is the this is an in-law and it's nice to know who his parents are and where maybe they're from. But I, I've got a big enough family tree. I don't want to end up going into some wild um, um, rabbit holes. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd share because I thought it's kind of fun, you know, uh, to uh, genealogy is a blast and uh, knowing your family history is a blast. And I'll start with this one little picture. That my aunt had sent me with a little post-it on it with the names written on the back. It's so helpful. Boy, I tell you, 
If you've got a box of photos laying around somewhere, pull them out and get at least the date or what day you think it is, and maybe who's in the picture or where it was taken, something. Just don't leave it in there and say you're going to get to it later because you're not going to get to it later. Get it done uh, just as a help for people in the future um, being able to have some kind of some kind of help whenever they're trying to do this because this means a lot to me to know who my family is and to be able to look at their faces and say that's my family look at how they lived look at how they dressed and so on okay bye everybody